everybody and welcome back to Sensory Centers. This week we are doing something similar to a project that I had shown you. I had already made for the library, but um, I was filming at home with the, or I wasn't filming because I was at home at the time. But this is similar to the touch and feel counting cards. These are touch and feel letter cards. So I only did a couple, I did A through E, but these are really easy to make and they're good for teaching letters because they can feel and trace over the letters themselves. All you need is cardboard, pipe cleaners, and hot glue. So I used actually an old Sunkist pop box that I had here from when the older kids were doing Rube Goldberg machines. The cardboard is very thin, it was very easy to cut, and it was, um, it made good sizes to do capital letters. So I cut apart my pieces of the box and then I figured out what colors of pipe cleaners I wanted to use. For A through E, I just did the colors of the, ra colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue in the correct order. So after I did that and my hot glue gun was heated up, I cut the letters to make them fit. So I kind of folded my A so that it would fit in this spot. And then I cut the bottoms off of the folded pipe cleaner and I used one half of that cutoff part to do the cross for the A. Some of the letters you don't have to cut uh, pieces off at all. The letter B I did not. Now this doesn't look like the best B in the whole wide world. And maybe if you use two pipe cleaners or if you did cut the pipe cleaner, you can make it look a little better, but it still looks like the letter B. So that was doable. But the letter C, I didn't have to cut anything. The letter D, this is one full piece of pipe cleaner, but I had to cut the bottom off so that it would make the letter D. And E like A, this is all one piece of pipe cleaner and I cut the bottom off and I made that the cross part of the E. So you can do these for all the letters of the alphabet. You could even do these for the numbers if you wanted to. Um, and you can do uppercase or lowercase letters. I did uppercase letters because I feel like the kids that come to the library that might be using these when we can finally reopen for programs are going to be younger and they're going to start learning their capital letters first. So that is why I did capital letters here today, but you can do capital and lowercase or you can do just capital or just lowercase, but it's totally up to you. So these are our touch and feel counting, no, not counting cards, touch and feel letter cards uh, that we made today. And if you make these at home, and you would like to show us how you did it, maybe you did a little differently, maybe you found a trick that I didn't think of, uh, please feel free to share pictures either of you making this or of your children playing with this with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so that we can see how everything worked for you. We hope you're having a great summer and we can't wait to see you back here at the library soon. Have a good day. 